Hey, what's going on, everybody? We have a huge game this week against Florida State. I need your support, and I need you guys to hit that like button because we've got the Miami Hurricanes equipment truck. All of the equipment is ready to go to Hard Rock Stadium. It is full of pads, equipment, everything, jerseys, the whole thing, and you've got to hit that like button. And also, we need everybody to subscribe. We're getting really close to 10,000 subscribers, and it's fantastic. I just need a little bit more support, and we are going to keep crushing the season. We're getting really close to the end of the year. We're doing really well. We're in top 10 of the country, but we've got to close this thing out. And I know your guys' support is going to mean a lot, especially in these big games like this one right here against Florida State. They're not having the season that they would like, and they're trying to spoil with what we're doing. So we've got to come strong with it. But there's so many things we've got to get to before we get to the game. You know we got to touch up on some recruiting. But right now, I want to look at the rankings. Again, we're fourth in the country. We're moving up. We have a first place vote. The rest of the country is taking notice of the Hurricanes. And going through, we've got some tough games coming up. Virginia Tech is doing well. Pittsburgh is doing well. So we've got our hands full down the stretch. Virginia as well. So again, plenty of ranked teams. Here's a look at the Coastal Division. We're in the lead. But again, Virginia Tech at 5-1. We cannot afford a loss right now to Florida State. Looks like Syracuse or Louisville is going to come out of the Atlantic. And this is big. De'Aaron King moves up one spot in the Heisman race. So let's take a look at our recruiting. We've got four guys coming to visit this week. This has been a weekend that we've been looking forward to all year long. I'm hoping with a good performance that we can land two top absolutely top prospects on our board and, and I want to show you guys also not only did four guys come in this week but the big news with recruiting is we got our first three commits of the class Anthony Hudson we beat out Clemson for him you guys know I've been a huge fan of his hashtag Anthony Hudson for life Tim Burns commits and Shaman commits as well I like that we've got three guys on the board they're excited again Hudson in that 96 speed he's ready to do some big things got that sleeper I like it so here I want to take a look at the top of the list again Ja'Cory Hammett is a guy that's coming to visit Thad Franklin our number one target we've got to run the ball we've got to impress him with the run game if we want any shot at getting him we have to run the ball we're going to get some bonus points if we rush for 100 yards and if we get the rival in the conference win but the thing is, we've got to rush for 100 yards. And our running game has picked it up lately. I'm happy with it, but we still have work to do. And I think beating Florida State would show him a lot. So that's definitely what we're going to do. That definitely has to be the plan. So big week. We've got to impress him. Again, we're leading for Austin Joseph, our five-star quarterback. Things are looking good there. Hammett, let's go ahead and seal the deal. Let's go ahead and get that commitment this week. Two sacks with a linebacker. We can do that. Again, we've got to have a big week. And what's cool about it is you get some bonus points. If you get you know, the complimentary bonus points. And Perry George, number one DN in the country, we're leading for. So if we get that complimentary bonus with George and Hammett, those are the two guys I'm hoping commit after this week. That would be huge. Thad Franklin, we just definitely have to cut into that deficit. This is big news. We're slipping on Alabama, but we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay strong. McLaughlin's not coming until week 13, and he's gonna get those bonus points because that's when, that's when Austin Joseph is coming. So the offensive guys, essentially the offensive guys, are coming week 13. Most of the defensive guys, other than Franklin, were coming week 10, and Hudson was scheduled to come week 10 too, but he's not visiting. He already committed, so he's locked and loaded, and it was great because we were able to get some points. We didn't have to allot all the points to him. And this is what we're doing. Again, move, trying to move up on Brantley. Boy Gallus, we've got to get him. We're in a battle with Florida State. He's visiting as well. We had to crank up his points so we can start to cut into that lead, that deficit there. And we've got to take the lead back. Florida was leading early. We passed Florida. Now Florida State's in there. So it's just a it's just been a tight recruiting battle for him. And we have to win it for sure. 
Alfred Brock, again, Juco lineman I'm excited about. Guys, there are so many recruits I'm excited about. I cannot wait for this game, but we've got to get looking at recruiting here. Darren Williams, a five-star. We're going after him. I'm getting so excited for this game. I Hopefully, you guys are too. Got to hit that like button. We need all the likes. We can get all the support. I know there's been some close games this year. Hopefully, this isn't one of them. And we haven't lost yet. And hopefully, this doesn't happen either. Not to this team. We cannot lose this game. Oh my goodness. Here it is, guys. Miami Hurricanes, Florida State Seminoles. I know you guys are excited for this. I know you guys are excited about this game. Drop in the comments your Miami, Florida State memories. Okay. This thing is really starting. I've got to lock in here. Don Chaney Jr. Let's go. We need some blocks, guys. Okay. Nothing going there. 22-yard return. Okay, let's go, guys. Again, we've got to run the ball. A lot of pressure here, so I need a balanced offense. Got to run the ball. Derek King's in the Heisman race. I need a good game from him. Okay, let, yeah, I got to switch this up, guys. Nice move. I like it. A little spin move. Mike Carley, there you go. You're ready to play. Senior ready to play. He's not losing to Florida State. I'm going. I'm trying to. I want to go short passes. Got to get the passing game going. But guys, I got to run the ball. Let, we, let's get some runs going. Short yardage situation here. Second down. Just wanted to get a quick pass in there, but we've got to run the ball. I like this. Five in the box. We can run on this. Up the middle. There we go. How many yards is that? Eight or nine. Let's go. Seven. Okay, that's good. I've got some better run plays. I've been running the ball better. Getting about 100 yards a game from him lately. We need him to finish strong, Cam Harris. Okay, that didn't work out too well there. Hey, there's 21 Florida State. Shout out to Marvin Wilson. All the things you're doing, man. Huge support. You keep doing what you got to do, man. I'm excited about people like Marvin Wilson wanting to make a difference. Okay. Okay, guys. I've got to be better than that. That could have been interception. But you know what? You know what I've learned with this season is no matter what, the, these guys are going to play all four quarters. There we go. Okay. We might not be playing the first quarter, but that's okay. We'll punt it away. That was a very good stand by this defense. I really want to go for this. Is this crazy? Uh, I feel confident. That was a bad pass before that, but that was a good one. We can get this first down. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got this, though. <laughs> we got this. Okay, get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. There we go. We got this. You got to stay confident. I did not want to punt it. I thought it would have been smarter to punt it, but let's let's just go. Let's see if we can get some things going. I want to score on this opening drive. I know it's a four-quarter game. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're 11 yards. We will take that all day long. Three carries, 21 yards. Offensive line is looking good. Big news out of Miami with Jared Williams deciding to transfer. That is huge. This is the eighth play of this drive. They couldn't get him in time for this game. Oh my goodness, should I have bounced outside? Oh, my. I, wanted, oh I want to almost watch that replay. Maybe I could have got more out of there. Steven Dix, man, I think that dude's going to be a good player. One of the things that, just real quick on Florida State, these guys got some linebackers. There we go, wide open. There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I like that. Okay, that's what we're looking to do. Run the ball, set up with that play action. But yeah, Florida State's got some guys. They definitely got to be better than last year. Obviously, Miami does too. But I feel like Miami's got all these pieces here. Oh, we got to hold that block. Okay, go, 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 go. Yes, we're in. Yes, we're in. Touchdown. That's how we started. That's exactly what we needed. Pierre King is looking fast on the outside. He had that scramble earlier on fourth down. And now that touchdown, that is huge. 
That is absolutely huge. I wanted momentum to start. I know it's a four-quarter four game, and that's what I was going to say. It's like, we're going to play regardless of what happens. Interceptions, fumbles, whatever, three and outs, get sacked, whatever it is. We're just going to plow through it. I just definitely wanted to get on off to a right start. That's why I wanted to go for it on fourth down. A little risky, but I did not like that drop. It ended up working out. We got that touchdown. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Oh, my goodness. They're going five wide. James Blackman's it's got going five wide with this guy. Okay. The quarterback leads I don't know what to expect the with the Florida the State offense drive. here. They come out in a five wide we're only set. going three down linemen. We're going to zone them. Oh, I wanted to get that pass rush. Okay. That's good. We'll take that for sure. They move on with Acres, but they've got other running backs. What is Blackman going to be? You know, if, if he's going to take that step. They also, have, you know, they've got receivers. Scary Terry on the outside. We've got to lock him up. That's good. That counts as that's four yard catch. You can do that all day. We'll be fine with that. We cannot allow the big play. And really in the pass game, we've not, just off the top of my head, does not seem like we've allowed too many big pass plays this year. How did he, okay, fourth down, but I don't know how he got that off. Brian Robinson, I know you guys know about him, freshman. Most of the run, the, the big plays we've given up have come in the run game, to be honest. Even the quarterback, man, I don't know how many big runs we've allowed, but not today, not today. We've got to shut these guys down. Okay, let's go. Ooh. I know I've said this before, but I don't know who would sign up to be a punt returner. Man. I know there's a chance for big plays, but man, there's also a chance to just get lit up. You are all by yourself out there. Mark Pope can handle it. Tough guy, for sure. Okay, guys. With this momentum, we've got to continue this momentum. I need to be smart, though. Where did... Oh, my goodness. I feel like Mallory released a little too far downfield. We needed a... Where is he... Okay. Wasn't a... Okay, that, that play didn't work. Second and 15. Okay. Again, we got to be smart. I'm looking for Harris right here on this angle route. Maybe we'll go corner route. Okay, he's covered. He goes oh, thought everybody was covered. Smart, heady play felt like he got, I felt like he got behind him a little bit, but I, I underthrew it or something. Like, I need to throw it further downfield. Third and 15. Third I just need to, to I need to try to get a first down. Five wide. I like this play here. Keyshawn. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is what it is. And we're not going to do anything silly this time. We're punting this one away. Again, I, I want to be calculated with my risk. And I'm not going to just go for it every time. Backed up like this. That was a poor possession. Oh, excellent punt. Okay. There we go. There we go. Our defense needs to hold again. That was a good first drive. We got this good early lead. Again, I know it's a long game. But I like how things are going. Get McLeod in there. Come on. There we go. Nice. McLeod. McLeod put that pressure on, and Quincy finished it with a sack. I needed that. Second and 17. That's good. I like this, what the defense is doing. Again, so they're coming out five wide. Okay. We just got a light matchup with three. If they keep doing this. And again, what I've noticed, too, and you guys have seen, if you guys have been following along, I've struggled a little bit on defense in terms of Finding really a good defense to go with because, okay, 
Okay, so now he's just sitting in there. Just the balance between man and zone. I per personally, I prefer man defense. I, I would like to see that more. I want to see the corners press up on guys. I feel like the linebackers can't sit still. I'm trying to get some blitzes there. Oh my goodness. The blitz was there. I, I like that, but he just happened to get rid of it right in time. And this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch. I feel like it's hard to get up early on these guys on and teams here. Man, almost pick, pick, there we go. DJ Ivy, that was huge, man. Boy, this defense makes it look so easy. Had to switch him real quick. Get in there. That's how you finish it off. We have not had interceptions too often lately. That's big. I think that's only his second one of the season. I think Blades has Miami three. Those are the top two guys, I think. Yeah, we, we got to mix these routes up a little bit here. He scrambled. Oh, I was a little bit late. Both receivers were open there. I wanted the route to go closer to the sideline. kind of how it happened but I, I thought it would angle more I, I want him to get closer to the sideline there away from the defense it's a good catch by Brevin third and two here Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a three for eight that's not really a good start but it's early we'll be fine not worried about Derek King okay here we go get open oh my goodness oh no 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 Oh, that's so frustrating. He was open early, then Asante stayed. At the last second, he stayed right there. That's a good defensive play. I I mean, obviously, I could have thrown it somewhere else, but I don't think it was, uh, I don't know, just maybe I'll, I'll look back on that one. Maybe you guys saw it differently, but I thought the receiver was open, and by the time I threw it, he, he just stayed right there. But that's tough. Okay, there we go. Ah, nothing. That was nothing. But yeah, that's tough because it's a pick. It's a touchdown. It's not just tackling them there. Okay, but we're on offense. We'll be fine here. Again, I want to go over the middle with this route. Man, no one is open. Oh my goodness, that was a. There's Marvin Wilson right there. He's ready for this big game. Am I ready for this? Those are two bad plays by me. I was trying to make something happen. I thought I could go spin move to get those extra yards. Oh my goodness. This game. This game. Oh my goodness. This game. Corbin's a transfer for him. Obviously, he's gonna he's gonna wear number zero. It's a lame number. I can't make him wear number zero on this game. Not available, so I gave him a cool number. Man, okay. Yeah, this game can be frustrating for sure. I'm excited about it. I wouldn't say I'm overhyped, but man, I'm definitely I definitely need to focus in here. Man, that these receivers are just parking. You know, it's almost like they're. It looks like they're curl, curl routes right, in, right in front of the defense there. I like going zone a little bit more inside the red zone. Oh my goodness! Well, that was easy. Man, how things changed. We were up 7-0 with the ball. And I remember that Cameron Harris, that first down run, go minus five, and then it go three and out. And now he makes the PAT. They go pick. They go pick six on me. Next play, fumble. They turn that into a score. And now we're down 14-7. That is frustrating. He's to the 10. Oh my goodness! He's gonna get lit up. Oh my goodness, we have zero momentum right now. 
clipping penalty back to the 10. Okay, guys. We have done so many positive things this season. We've got to we've got to dig in our bag. They coughed up the and look for quality plays ball. here. Need to be smart. Can't time. be fumbling the ball. What? We fumbled it again? Oh my goodness. We need to call. Oh, I feel like we need to just call time. Can we get this quarter over with? Luckily, we, we recovered it, but that was another fumble. Oh, can we get this corner route? I saw the corner back up a little bit. I didn't want to throw it, so that's why I went to Pope underneath. But I like that corner route from the slot and the corner right to the sideline. That's been working well this season. Slams over middle. Get the first down. Mark. There we go. Again, I'm trying to go short routes right now. I don't know what Derek's completion percent is. 5 for 11. So it was pretty bad there and it's still not great but I want to get him get him going let's get some passes just complete them oh hold that block oh my gosh this Marvin Wilson okay this dude is coming to play we have okay we have got to respond here second and 20 I'm doing hurry up again that's what you guys want to see Okay, we got get out of bounds, get out, get out, get out. Goodness, five for sixty yards. I think sixty yards might be the season high already. So struggling a little bit in the passing game. Run game feels shaky with Cameron. He getting decent runs, and they have that fumble. But those sixty yards. Are pretty impressive. He I feel like it's three big runs. It was that one there, the fourth down scramble, and the touchdown. Obviously, had it took a sack, but Derek is he's feeling fast on the outside, so I gotta keep that in mind. Get that first down. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna line up shotgun, and what I'm doing is I'll audible out of that if I don't like the look. But when I only see three guys the on the line the maybe one linebacker I'm looking at seeing how many defenders in the box and if I feel like there's an advantage I'll run it okay that falls incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws you need a it is hard for me to get into a rhythm right now in the passing game it's weird because that hasn't really been the case all season long there we go Zips it to the back. Oh man. And he hits him hard. Thought maybe he could line. bounce out of there, but that's all right. Good catch. Again, we just need to stack up first downs. Can't worry about going deep all the time. Look at these. Okay, I'm looking for that under route there. Oh, there we go. I don't know how that happened, but we just scored a touchdown. And you know I'm doing that dive every time that I can. Yep. Revan George's coming to play. That's what I need from the the big time players and make big time plays and big time games. And that's what we needed from Brevin Jordan. That was huge. 10 plays, 81 yard drive. It was looking shaky there for a little bit. That was huge. I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of those breaks where he just. They line up to kick this one away. He just got by the defense. I don't know exactly what happened, but we'll take it. What I was saying was on that crossing route that that I wanted to go to initially. They're just doing a good job of kind of essentially either knowing the routes or kind of running right in front of our receivers. And they have good guys in the secondary. It's not to discredit what they have, but man, I'm noticing it. It feels like they're tough. They feel like they're right on our guys. Oh, Brooks. He's under pressure. Get he there. Go. Mm. Down he goes. Right around the 46 yard line. Yeah, the okay, we, we got a touchdown. We tied it back up. Now our defense needs to respond. Blackman, seven for nine. Are you kidding me? And you guys know the two inter incompletions. One was the first play of the game. There we go. We'll take that. I keep mixing up the D tackle. We got Jared Harrison Hunt in right now. 
Starting it alongside John Ford again. Silvera's been out for the season really early on. Had an injury, so I've been rotating the D tackles. Okay, now they're going to their back. We need our linebackers to. It's tough. It's tough on what how to position the linebackers because it, they can run the ball, so you need them defending the run, and then you kind of need them right there in the middle. Oh, I missed. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. Thought I was closer there. I didn't it didn't really matter. I had another defender right there. I need Rousseau to get in there. Yeah, they are just parking right in the middle of our defense. And it feels like even with our trying to mix things up, I feel like I've got good fronts with matchups either. Okay, get outside. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he about got out of that. But I feel like I'm matching up okay based on how many receivers they have out there. But we're just struggling to stay close to the guys there. Again, I'm trying to go 3-3-5 right now because they're spreading it out. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? A huge play and now they're in a great Man. position to score. I feel like the option either the, whether it's the zone reads or just straight options by the quarterbacks in this game. It's tough to defend. Okay, we got to stop that. One thing that's a little frustrating, I've, I've talked about this all year, but yeah, defending the option is just difficult in this game, not necessarily particularly against Florida State, but obviously when you have a running quarterback and good running backs, then it makes it even more difficult. But Okay, there we go. Everybody's matched up. Get in there. Oh, nice. Okay, one more stop. Let's hold him to a field goal here. But when teams run hurry up, and you guys, it's like this during the season. The defense is really With the real season, it just becomes difficult on it. It really puts a lot of pressure on the defense to get lined up. Get out there. There we go. We'll hold him to a field goal. Not just to get lined up, guys, because I've been seeing it all year long because we've been facing essentially everybody goes fast there but it's also personnel if you're not allowed to substitute you're kind of stuck with what defense you can run and I think I think what you're seeing if you flip that on the other side if Miami's going to go fast pace now with their offense can we we have we're not even going to do the 20 but it's just, it puts so much pressure on the defense, and that's what you're going to see about with Miami's offense this, this season. And, there hasn't been too yeah, it just makes it very difficult. And I think on the flip like side with this. defense, I think if teams are doing that, it almost makes... Okay, get, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm out there trucking people. I can't fumble it again. I wanted that receiver to... Oh. There's just not a lot of space. I don't want to throw an interception. But versatile. De my point is versatile defenders are important for a team. Okay. You know, there's been some bad passes I've made, but, man, there's been some drops that we just can't have in a big game like this. Let's go, guys. Okay. Third and five. got to complete this. Third and five. Ball on the 22-yard line. I'm trying to go just past the sticks on this one here. There we go. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at about the 35. I had two options. I could go hardly a little bit further off the first down. And another one right right behind him. I like the double options in the pass game where you essentially your eyes are looking in the same spot. Everyone's clearing out. I like this. Okay, let's go, let's go. I want to score. Go, 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 go. Oh, I wanted to score. I wanted to hit that juke button. I know I got to be careful. 88 yards rushing. That's crazy. 
I know I have to be careful, but I want to hit that juke move and score. This is a huge game. I can't worry about people getting hurt. We need everybody doing their best here. Okay. Oh, I saw him. Did you got? I know that was a bit risky, but the circle receiver. Ah. Uh, it's tough when you throw on the run, I know, but I saw the circle receiver like release from his defender. Ah, that could have been a score. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, our passing game. Yeah, I had those runs, so now Derek's a red. He's a red. That means he's tired. That's probably why that pass didn't get completed. One for four on third downs. We've got to we've got to do better than that. This is a bit risky, but I'm looking at four down territory. That's good. That's what I wanted. I want to go the way I've been running with that play. I wanted to set this one up. I would, you know, sometimes we've been able to get ten, but I wasn't really counting on it. But this is I wanted a short one, and I'm gonna do it again. I know it's risky, guys. I know, but we're doing well. We're running the ball up the middle right there. Man, this has been such a difference compared to how we usually play. Usually our passing game's on point. Now I'm making... I'm hitting the holes well. They're opening up, but I feel good about some of the moves I've been able to make up the middle or running king on the outsides Let's just keep this going nice run there. Harris. second and three seven yards on the yeah he's doing well 71 yards already I don't remember what king had but I remember it was over 80 so we got 150 yards pa or rushing already we only need 100 to impress that Franklin Here's but I'm not I'm not worried about that we've got it look at that oh my goodness we're like almost doubled up in yards and we're losing okay we got a score here hit that slant oh my goodness what happened oh, Jarvis Brownlee you guys remember him as well so many guys you guys remember in recruiting Jarvis out of Carroll City I don't know what happened why is that not a touchdown we're just a little off we need this. There we go, Don Chaney Jr. That's a touchdown we needed. That's exactly what we needed from guys off the bench. When it's your turn, you got to step up. Cam got tired and Don went in there and scored. I like it. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm feeling a lot better now. I like that we're. I feel like the passing game will come along. I don't know what's going on. Just a combination of things. I've had some bad reads. Had some drops. Most of the drive because of the They've had some pressure on me, so forcing me into some off-balance throws. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, the 266 well, total yards. We're doing well. The rushing, I, I can't. This is this is great. This is great. The other gets right back into it. It's exciting. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste. Gotta get. Let's get a big play for the defense again. Get to that quickly. He's taken down right around the 34. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. 13 for 15. Read the coverage oh perfectly goodness. to find his man for good yardage. Short yeah, but yardage one of the things with the running game we got to get going more. is because these are the games that you've got to be balanced in. Oh, that's... No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. I hate defending that play. I, I hate defending just because they get so... What's frustrating is when you try to do that play, it just doesn't seem to work out as quite as well. But they get so many blockers. It puts so much pressure. What the heck? This guy, okay. Let's hold him to a field goal and take the lead going into halftime. We'll take that. I will take that the way the, the first half went. It's been so up and down. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, look like they might. I don't know what he's doing. Might just take a penalty. 
is what it is. But they're winding the clock down. Yeah, you know, we've got to somehow get a stop here. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. The reason why your offense needs to be balanced and you're seeing this game is because it, imagine if I couldn't run the ball this game. So we would be getting blank because our board. passing game is struggling. So that's why if right maybe, you know, when you're facing these tough games, we have so many ranked teams that we're playing coming up. All these games are going to be tough. So our offense needs to be on point with its balance. What? Man. Eight yards? Man, that's frustrating. We are right there. Probably for a tackle for loss, a really short gain. And then they pick up eight. Okay, first down. Okay, let's go, let's go guys. We need this pass rush. Oh, this play again. That's good. That's a way to make a statement on that hit stick. Yeah, let's watch this again. Knock the ball loose. It goes out of bounds, but that's okay. We need to make statements on defense. All right, Jalen Phillips is in. No. It's another good tackle by Blades. I'm doing a lot better on my tackling. That definitely could have been bad. I got to stay locked in, though. Third and four. This is a huge play. Let's go, guys. Get there, we're so... Oh, no. Oh, I just... Oh my goodness. I just said I was doing better on tackling and then that happened. Okay. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're get, we can hold him. There we go. Good stop by the defense. We're so, I was so close to getting a sack. I feel like we just need one sack. How'd they get that playoff? What? Oh, you've got to. Oh, my. You've got to be kidding me. How'd they get that? Did, watch this play. How did he throw this? I got in. Look at this hit. Yeah, replay that. Okay, yeah, watch this. What? No. And he completed it. This. You got to be kidding me. That is so frustrating. I. That should have been a sack or an incomplete something, but not a touchdown. Now we're down. Oh my goodness. I thought for sure we'd have the lead going to halftime. It's so deflating. And we don't get the ball back. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, go. Yes, okay. Nobody else. Yep, that's a touchdown. Yes, that's a touchdown. That's exactly what we needed. Don Cheney Jr. Oh my goodness. I did not expect that. That's exactly what we needed. Oh my god! I cannot believe that just happened. A kick return in a big game like this. Don Chaney Jr., are you serious? His second touchdown of the game? This dude's coming to play. Again, taking advantage of opportunities. That's exactly what we needed. Oh my gosh, the momentum. Let's freaking go, Don Chaney Jr. That was crazy, all the blocks. Everybody, nobody gave up on the quarter but me. No, just kidding. I didn't give up. I was just so frustrated with that touchdown. We got the lead going to halftime. If you haven't done it yet, hit that like button. We need all the support for this second half. This is crazy. These games are so intense. I did not sign up for this this season. You guys pressure me going into Heisman mode. And here I am, number four team in the country. This deficit can be We've got to win this game. What? We've got to win this game. We've got to win this game. Okay. Just again, thinking about that first half. Defensively, there's some good things, but man, overall, we've got to tighten up here in the second half. It's a good tackle. Man, this guy's out here looking like Sam Howell again. 19 for 21. I just, and he completed that pass. I do not know how he completed that pass. And now that, okay. Gets out to around the 38. 
I still cannot believe that kick return. That's our first one. You saw it at like a 91 yarder and he got tracked down from behind. I've been wanting to get one all game long. Oh no. He was running all weird at the end, but man, where our secondary, I don't know if they got sucked in or what, but we shouldn't have been chasing them. Okay, we've got to hold this team to a field goal somehow. There we go. I was ready for that one. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Man, he just brushed off that tackler. That's good. We finished it. That's okay. Tackle for loss. There we go. Ball's on like the nine. Okay. They definitely can run our pass here. Okay. So they, they hand the ball off to a receiver. Interesting play. Little tricky Seminoles. I see what you're doing there. Okay. Third and goal. Let's go. Let's hold him to a field goal. Trying to find the... Oh. We got that stop, but man, it rushes you through. I'm trying to pick the right play in a hurry. Man, that's a huge stop for us. Okay, there we go. I gotta, I gotta relax a little bit. Florida State is ready to kick it away. Yeah, let's do this again. Let's go. Get through, get through the, oh, I saw a little bit of a hole. Man, that was crazy. He returned it for a touchdown. Yeah, those first two drives. It wasn't the first two drives, but those those two right before those those touchdowns there. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the All right, let's go. Miami up a point. There we go. Gets out to around the 35. Again, running up the middle. If we get the right look. And what also helps is I feel like it helps set up the pass a little bit in the sense that Oh man. They had that covered really good. But basically, like, if they see that formation, they know – I don't want them to think that it's always going to be a run. Eight for 20? My goodness. Okay. Long game. We're okay. Yeah, that was risky. I shouldn't have done that. I saw a bad look. They go seven. Seven or eight. I want to go for it here. This is risky. Okay, yeah. This is a good front. Let's just run it. Yeah, that third down, it was a mistake, and I tried. I wanted to make up for it on that fourth down. But that third down again, I've been running the ball well, and then they throw out that. They had the numbers, and I still ran it. But it was one yard. That's why I thought I could get it. But anyways, first down. Let's get this passing game going. Looking for Harley. There we go, Mark. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to go Harley, but it looked like he didn't have enough separation. Mark Pope. Mark Pope can take a hit. We've seen that all year long. Man, this guy over the middle, even when he gets on the perimeter right there, he takes hits. So. Oh, my goodness. That run and gun. That run and gun. Shout out to the face of the franchise, that run and gun. Got to be a little bit risky in this game. I want to go cross. I want to go over the middle. Miami is up one. He's open. He's open. Oh, he was open. I tried to wait for him. So he goes cross mid. Like I, I wanted. That was a play call I wanted, but they're covering everything up over the middle. So I stretched it out to the outside, and the receiver was running free. I tried to slow down my feet, make a good throw. Man, this is so frustrating. Okay. Oh, 
There's just not a lot of space in the passing game. That's just the bottom line. I don't know if that's a sign of things to come for Florida State secondary, but man, in this game, they're just blanking in my guys. Feels like there's just not a lot of opportunities. I probably missed some receivers, but man, for the most part, there's not a lot of options out there. Ooh, give me that block. Oh yes, there we go. That's why you don't worry about taking a hit. Gotta stay in the play. Got that touchdown, D.R. King. We gotta get the, this dude is definitely a legitimate Heisman candidate. He's over 100 yards. Got to be over 100 yards. That's crazy. So that play, I saw the blocker coming in, and that's why I just want to power through it. I said it earlier in the game. I'm not worried about. He makes the PAT. I'm not worried about him taking hits. We gotta stay involved in the play. And that's it, and it paid off big time there. I know I took a fumble earlier, but that's part of it. Trying to make things happen. See what happens when you make things happen. You get touchdowns. Now we got this eight-point lead. I like this. Three minutes left. We can stay out in front. I think this is our biggest lead of the game. It's a great tackle at the 36. Man. Man, left, man, left. We need another interception from DJ Ivy. I'm very curious to see how DJ Ivy's going to play this year and Al Blades. This quarterback is tough I've talked about him right, probably quite a bit. Finally, an incompletion, but. Again, two guys with good size, experience. You're hoping for that that third-year player takes the jump in their game. Both of them, while they're not perfect players, you've seen flashes. You know, you've seen them play well in spots. There's something there. This is this is that season, that, that third year in a program, and you've had experience. Very curious to see how they do. That's a good stop. Gervin Hall, 26. There we go. You guys remember that Gervin Hall interception in the Clemson game? He got ACC Player of the Week that week. That was crazy. I still remember that diving catch. Man, that was that feels like a long time ago. I had no idea that our team was going to be so clutch all season long. Back then, okay, yeah, get to the outside. Oh, I wanted to spin through every all that mess. 19 yards, but man, he had good speed to the outside. I was just hoping I could turn the corner there on that punt return. I feel pretty good about kick return. Oh wow, Corbin's out. Looks like he, so he's out for the rest of the game. I don't feel as confident about getting a punt return for a touchdown. Good play by Brevin. Nothing flashy the kick return, I, I kind of feel like there's times I'm close. That's why I'm not surprised to get a touchdown, but I definitely didn't think it would come again, come in a big game like this. I need one of these big pass plays to land. Yeah, there's just... There we go, Mike Harley. I want to go over the top, but hey, if they're running deep, we can stop short and catch those passes. Oh my goodness. What a touchdown that would be so huge right here. Again, let's get this passing. I'm looking for Jordan maybe. Yes, get in there. Oh my goodness, I was so close. I was looking for Jordan the whole time. Because I like the route. I threw it. I know it was close, but he was open and then down at the one. Okay, we got a score here. I like where we're at. Up eight. Let's go up, up 15. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Yeah, we definitely got a score here. I, I like this read option. We haven't seen much of it this game. There's a touch. What? We need a replay. We need to challenge that. 125 yards. Dude's been a beast. Season high for sure. How does that not a touchdown? Let's run this again. Okay, there he's in. Brought down. What in the world? 
Okay, third down. I do not want to kick a field goal. Let, how is this? I want to do this again. Okay, get in. Oh my goodness. So that was bad. I don't. That was. I mean, we definitely got to score a touchdown. But I don't see how those those first two runs didn't. We didn't get in on those. I don't know what to do here. I definitely want to run this in. I just want to get up 15. That seems big. This is it. They need three I probably should kick a field goal, but we got to score a touchdown. Miami Let's get this crossing route here. Eight. The slant. Come on, you got to get over Wiggins. Fires there quickly. we go, Brevin Jordan. Brevin was open. I wanted, I thought it would be D Wiggins on that slam, but when I saw Brevin pop open, I had to throw to him. Man, this dude, there was nobody really on him. I was just definitely looking for D, but hey, the big He's news the is he scored a touchdown on fourth down. That is so clutch. The clutch canes. Looks like they're ready for the kick. We're up 15. I could breathe a little bit easier going to the fourth. Not saying anything can happen, but having a lead makes me feel a whole lot better. A lot better than being down in that crazy game against North Carolina, I'll tell you that. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. I probably should have just stopped the season after that game. There we go. They're definitely trying to go screen plays with wide receiver. They've been thrown to the back there, but yeah, four fingers up. Let's go. Into the fourth quarter now. Twenty-two, man, this dude. Twenty-two of twenty-five. Man. Strike to his receiver. No good. It feels a lot different than the Sam Howell game, though. Because a lot of his stuff has been kind of underneath. Whereas the how I mean that dude was throwing it all over the field. It's third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Third and eight. He's gonna air it long. Gotta, oh my goodness. In the deep pass. Touchdown saving tackle. Saved a touchdown, but I, what I don't like is it's eight, uh, you look up and every half is guarding somebody on the outside like that. Again, that's just getting caught up in an audible. Third and eight. Oh, my God. This game. Touchdown, FSU. All right. Hey. They're definitely letting us know that this isn't going to be easy. And they're looking to get two points here. 16 seconds. Okay, they're going for two. All right, we got to stop from here. The cavalry's coming, and they won't get the two. So a fourth play, 76-yard drive, but the failed two-point conversion keeps... That was a big play right there. Brad, right now, this offense Nine points. They also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Man, I don't know. I, I feel like... Okay, get through. Oh, that... That was an overemphasized juke move there. If we could have stayed on our, if we could have stayed more on a straight line, maybe we could have broke one. I feel I always it's I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys that play games, but I have always preferred running to the left on kickoff returns. In in, in video games, Both teams are well aware that a score on forever. this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This I like this, but we got to get to the outside. Get those blocks. Get to the outside. Oh. Hand off, and he's met immediately. I really like that play call, and on right, maybe personnel matchups, that play will work out really well with the blocking and the running back. Oh my God. I love the toughness here by this quarterback, sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, 
only to have this but I definitely like the run plays we have in the playbook job, now I've made some adjustments over the over the season and a toughness to sit in that pocket I feel like it makes Here's a difference third okay third and 11 ball on the 25 Quarterback trying to hit something deep here with five wide outs. okay we're gonna run for it here yep he's under some heat he's to the 40. He steps out that's the 40. been there all game long it happened early in the first quarter and we're just gonna take it And when he, when he runs like this in a game like this, it makes me feel like I could have been doing this all season long. But I, I like throwing the ball. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down. Right around the 40 but I don't have a choice. We need to get the win. So we'll go ahead and take off and run. I think I, I might have told you guys this story before. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to get rid of it. And he throws it away. But, uh, but anyways, a long, long time ago, video games, I had Michael Vick was on my dynasty with friends. And uh, back when he was really good in game, video games and things like that. I'll get through this story real quick. But anyways, he used to get hurt all the time. So eventually I would just save him for the playoffs. So he wouldn't get hurt. So I, I can scramble a little bit with quarterbacks. Oh, I, did not, I called that play. I wasn't, uh, yeah. I should have just hit pause on that. Man, I like that. Look at that. I want to call fake punt. You see this? There's nobody the here. guarding my gunners, but I can't do that. They would have got covered up. That's just crazy to see that. And it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Yeah, here we go. I still like that we got this lead. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. I feel like Blackman's due for a bad play here, interception or something. Tackle made around the 23 yard line. Well, he's starting to get up there in passing yards. Okay, we're not, we can't worry about stats. We need to worry about we're up nine. There we go. They go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Okay, third and 11. That's a stat I care about. Third and 11, let's get this stop. It's third and 11. Ball 19 yard line. In the shotgun. Two man under is what I put here again. Trying to mix up the defenses. There we go, Christian Williams. Around the 27 yard line. That's good. That's good. That's such a huge play. So they're punting here. The one more score might do it. I, think they're gonna come I don't know. This one. A lot of green. Let's go. Get to the outside. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 45. Hope's having a good game as a returner. And here we go with the offense ready to Here we go. Four go minutes again. left, up nine with the ball. This is such a cru crucial drive. I'm looking for Harley. I want to hit him on this play. I can't do it, though. I can't do it. And they make the, stop. the way the that their secondary s switch there stayed in the zone, I couldn't throw it, but. He didn't have safety help, so I really wanted to throw that ball. From the they would have went, man, I don't know. Again, that's They'll a play. The field with five got wide. safety there. Dangerous oh, my throw. goodness. See, they sat in zone again, and I saw what was going on, and I don't know. He just overthrew it. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good That was weird, too. but okay. Kind of just been off all game long. I guess it just look at these plays. I'm glad we're finishing off on those plays now. We can't let those get free. Second down and twelve. Ball on the twenty-seven. They come out in a five-wide set. Yeah. 
There we go. Third and eight. We'll take it. We're doing good. Guys, I appreciate everybody for following along. I knew you guys would. I, I didn't think you'd drop off. This is Florida State. I, you know I got to get this win here. That's a, oh, goodness. Thought for sure that was a stop. Definitely appreciate everybody's support. I need to give you guys this win. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I don't know if we're going to win all of our games this year. Just based on all these close games in the fourth quarter, it feels like something's going to slip at some point. That being said, I don't want to lose this one. Oh my goodness. That's so close. We're so. Third and ten. One stop will win it. I mean, they'll go for it on fourth, but just need to stop them on this drive. Let's go. Okay. Okay, man up. We got. Why are we playing back? We got that. What in the heck? Okay, first we have backed up, so I scooted my guys up, and then they go ahead and catch that play. I had double coverage on Terry. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to dive at Blackman. Kind of forced some incompletion. Something. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. Get out there. There we go. Again, we've been cutting that off pretty good lately. I don't know how many screen passes they've called. It doesn't matter who the running back is. Again, I'm expecting pass. That's why I did the 3-2-6. Let's go. Almost had that sack. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh, get out there. Man, that's scary. Somehow we got we got that stop. That's good though. It felt like they were just gonna go into the end zone. It didn't we did not have enough defenders on that side of the field there. Okay, we gotta switch up. And they run it. Oh my goodness, it breaks the tackle. Okay, guys. 42-39. Forty-two, forty. They've got all their timeouts. Oh, they're doing an onside kick. Okay, that's audible. Why are we not able to audible? Uh oh. But the return team's in their normal kick return formation. Tackle at the forty-nine. Couldn't audible to an onside kick, and I didn't want to call timeout. So. Yeah, it worked out. Avery Huff, nice, nice, nice catch and a little bit of return. So, a little bit tricky of a situation. Definitely need to run it. So let's go ahead and try to run the ball up the middle. Again, five man in the box. We're hitting all the blocks. Good first down. Close to it. Yeah, first down. Two thirty-eight on the rushing yard. Be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense, and at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back the out of the field. First down, ten to go. Ball on the thirty-nine. Get out there. He's tackled at about the thirty-one. He's had no problem it's tough because they do close up as quickly yards. as they can, there but they're so just coming out in bad fronts for me. And they're expecting the pass, and I think he's easily one of the most I'm able to get some runs off again. So here we go. I don't want to go all the way. Run. He's on I'm the not run. gonna. Okay, there we go. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down around the two yard. There we go, Mike Harley. There we go. There we go. It was on the run, but he was open. I had to throw it. It's like a rocket taking off. They have that skill. I know it looked a little risky, but he was open. That's good. So let's go ahead and get a touchdown here. 
Just under two minutes in the game. Yep, there we go. That's a good touchdown by Cam Harris. He's had a great day. I don't know what his yardage total is, but he's just been great. This is good. We should go ahead and win this one. A little tricky there, just right there at the end, but we recovered the onside kick. Got the big play to Mike Harley. It looks like we're going to win this game. That's exactly what we need. Moving forward. Again, we've got to go ahead and win this all. Again, when I said I don't know if we're going to win all of our games, I sure am going to try. You guys have seen all season long. I'm not giving up on any game. And, and honestly, we didn't come this far to come this far at this point. Let's go ahead and win this whole thing. I don't know. Definitely win the ACC. Okay. What? Man. Yeah, let's. I, I just, I'm just glad we got all these points. We were scoring touchdowns. That's really what made the difference. Instead of settling for field goals. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. I would have liked to have held them to less points, but it is what it is. I'm glad we're in front. Yeah, it doesn't feel like, it, yeah, it just feels like whatever we call on defense against the pass, they're kind of able to do what they want. Yeah, we're going to back off a little bit. Watch the throw outside. Tackle made at the 15. Man, everybody is doing their thing, but I don't care. We're winning this game. We're, we're locking up Florida State. I know you guys want Miami to do it again. I already have three wins in a row against the Florida State Seminoles. Quick throw, oh, he's got goodness. his receiver again. I do wonder if these close games are going to catch up with, with me. A nice five play, They've got it. Yeah, I'm calling onside recover this time. I wasn't expecting last time, and I thought I could audible into it. There we go, Will. Let's get down, get down. So, yeah, that'll do it. Although I do want to run the ball, I'm not going to lie. I know you guys probably think this is risky, but I, I want to run the ball. I don't know. Don't fumble it. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. 112 yards for Harris. I like it. King went over 100 yards. Also, like Loki, won another touchdown. It's second down, and they're about. I'm not going to do anything risky, but I do. Want, I, I am not happy they scored. The fact that they scored makes me want to score again. I'm also paying attention to the clock, like I'm letting it wind down. But I'd love to be able to sneak a touchdown in here. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. There we go. Keyshawn Smith has been money on that play all season long. That's why I'm comfortable throwing it. Yeah, we're calling timeout. I want to score another touchdown. I don't care. They're not going to do anything. Even if they get the ball, what are they going to do? Pick six it and score? If it happens, it happens. That's not happening. We we want to be aggressive. We want to score a touchdown. Miami holds just a two point Looking lead. for that corner right by the pylon. Jeremiah, get over there. He's uh. scrambling. Decides to tuck it yep, in. He's got I like space. it. Good block by Jeremiah. Touchdown. That's how we celebrate. That's how we run it up on him. I don't care. We're scoring touchdowns. Pierre King's going for Heisman. We need to pad those stats. This is a big win. That's the most important thing. I didn't like that they scored a touchdown. We needed to win by nine. 
I don't know what the point spread was. I don't mess with that kind of stuff. But we, I just didn't like. I didn't like that feeling that they made it a two-point game. And if it wasn't going to work out, it wasn't going to work out. But I was hoping it would. I did let the clock slide down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So this is good, guys. This is great. Got this He's win, finally, this game's going to be over. Be that here. kick return really, I felt like, turned things around with Don Chaney Jr. Like, they had the momentum. Oh boy, and that I felt like that was a big play. But really, like, again, what I've learned all season long, and, and it's it makes sense center. because my Final philosophy score, just, Miami, football is such a long game. There are so many things that happen in a game. It is hard to upset a team because there are so many possessions, so many key plays. You've got to stay locked in. You can't let one bad play ruin the whole game. You've got to bounce back. And what we've seen is we have so many good players. And a guy like Derek King comes up huge in a big game like this. And really makes a huge difference. Those are crazy numbers. I know the passing numbers weren't as high as I would have liked, but it's still a lot of touchdowns and the crazy amount of rushing yards. That's a season high. And De'Ara King was just talking about, just heard him talk about his best game of his career. He, had, he accounted for seven touchdowns in a game. Threw for over 400, rushed for over 100. I mean, this dude is crazy. He's ridiculously good. I think he's a legitimate Heisman candidate for the upcoming season and why not just go ahead and win the Heisman with this season he's having that kind of a year thank you so much for showing your support we've got that big win hit the like button if you haven't yet and be sure to subscribe as always thanks for watching check out insidetheu.com and follow me on twitter at insidetheu